In today's short video, I will explain how you can level up your design portfolio or product slide on a website using Vectory 3D and Figma. I will also explain the why and the how behind this email template design. And as you can see, I can see how it will theoretically look on my phone via Gmail. Nice, right? The best part is that you can do this for free without having to subscribe or invest your hard-earned currency. Nice. I think I know what you might be thinking right now. Let me know if I'm right. You are wondering if this is all free, like free free, right? Well, it is, of course. These platforms do offer premium access to their software, but there's a whole lot you can do with their free tier access. If you've used Vectory 3D before, then you know how robust the software really is. And it's pretty amazing. I mean, comparable to Adobe Dimension. Anyway, let's get some energy back into this. All right, going back to the introductory offer email layout. So what I did was I created so many versions of this thing because I was brainstorming and I was working with shapes. And as you could see, the shapes at the, with these layouts, it's basically the same shape, different color. I wasn't really impressed with it. So I kind of went um, with a simpler look and use the circle or the ellipse background. I landed on design number 10 only because of the gradient background. Gradient backgrounds are a thing right now and they probably won't be next year and I'll probably kick myself for not picking the white background because we learned a lot with A-B testing and what we discovered, white backgrounds did a lot better in terms of conversions versus emails with a darker colored background or any colored background for that matter. Okay, so then what we want to do is we want to right click in that gray area there, go to plugins and then select Vectory 3D. Once you do that, boom, like magic. So anyway, how this works is you highlight the frame you want to use and you basically just use that frame and it's displayed there. I also like that you can move this thing around in 3D space and pick whatever angles you want to pick. You can basically do what you would be able to do in C4D or Dimension or any other 3D application that you're using. Um, I know Adobe XD has some cool 3D capabilities now, but it's still not quite like this. So I use this free plugin and it really helps. It really does. I'm super impressed with what I could produce with this plugin. So there you have it. I would recommend you check it out, mess with it a bit, see what you can come up with and you know have fun with it and the, the other thing i like about this is when you save that image you have the option to still work with the image properties color properties um, you you can adjust it to make it look as real as possible but it's a 3d object so no you're not gonna fool anyone but still it's really cool because i love using this to set up my product sections in a slideshow and so this is pretty cool i mean i can use this just to present um a, a certain email layout to the team during one of our meetings or a kickoff meeting all they have to do is just brief me on what we're going to be working on and i can just present this and say oh cool yeah so check this out this is what I have in mind for the layout, and this is what it would look like on a mobile device. Well, everyone, that's it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more. I've got more coming up, so I'm kind of excited to share them. 
And also, there's a link to the Vectory 3D website where you're going to find more info on Vectory 3D. You know, they've got an easy-to-use browser-based 3D content creation tool. You've got to check that out. So, link below so you can see what they've got. Who knows? You might be using it as frequently as I do. You never know. Thanks.